Mister. Hey, Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. Ah, thank God for that. to talk to my shrink about. I guess this is how the fuck it is. Well, you've made it in the end. Yeah. Please, take a seat. Hey, you mind if I don't, Doc? No. Do as you like. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man. Man. Man! You know what, look. I'm just gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. 
Hey, we call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Nope. Don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turned things over, you know, start it again, that the universe would find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But that's not the point. I mean, I, I wanted to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relapse. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. <sighs> Boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business. I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest? For once. It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. What are you thinking? I just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah, okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Never after that boat thing. Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Who plays golf at midnight? Uh, that's it! Walk away like you always do! Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Never this too late to be who oh, hey, we are, blah, thanks blah, blah. for calling. Yeah, I have the perfect guy for your All film. right, so we take senior citizens, Hello? really fucking poor ones, and put them through law school. <laughs> I give and I give and I... Yes, I'm real. Davey. How you doing? About as good as can be expected, but the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davey, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right. I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. We haven't really talked about anything, either. But if, no, when, he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... And we better go about saving it together, because you and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, 
he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I going to get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do. What we got? Uh, John Doe, white male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. Let's take a peek. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the... Ah! Oh, Jesus! Ah! Back from the dead, ah! motherfucker! Ah! 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 Out! Now! Ah! 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 That don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey, stop! Put your hands on your head! <clears throat> stairs.
Containment! 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 Trust me! I'm not interested in the truth! It's all a big misunderstanding! Hey, I already died once today! Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! No! Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. 
will be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building? You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Franklin, what's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? Look, you remember I told you I know people? Feds who looked after me when I retired? You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his. And everything was cool. The problem started when recently... I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so. Shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood in, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just gonna, you know, try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, the least I can do is help you. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you, I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. I'm with you. 